Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to today's uh, presentation on Silver Sea Cruises. Uh, my name is Mark Zerowich. I'm the Director of Sales for Canada. And I wanna thank the team at Expedia Cruise Ship Centers Thunder Bay for putting this event together and um, hosting uh, today's presentation. So um, I've known Sean and Tammy Friesen now for probably about uh, 14, 15 years. Uh, and I met them when they opened their first store in Thunder Bay in 2007. Um, they uh, they uh, since have expanded quite a bit throughout Ontario. They opened a Sudbury location in March of 2013. They purchased Woodstock in October 2015. Sault Ste. Marie was opened in September of 2016. And uh, Windsor was acquired in uh, December of 2017. They're going to be opening a store in Thunder Bay, and they've got plans to open in Chatham and Sarnia. So they're building their own little empire uh, in Ontario, and they're one of the most successful uh, franchises in the Expedia um, in the Expedia chain. Uh, so it's my great pleasure to uh, to be um, have been invited uh, to do a presentation on Silver Sea today. Uh, Expedia Cruises Thunder Bay has a team of 190 consultants from Kenora uh, to Windsor to Toronto. And they've been awarded the very prestigious diamond status from 2014 to 2019. And that's just given to the top 10% of sale uh, centers. So uh, definitely one of the most um, professional and knowledgeable uh, organizations I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Uh, and uh, I give them my full endorsement. Um, one of the reasons why you should always consider booking with Expedia Cruises uh, in Thunder Bay or any of their other locations is um, the team uh, that uh, Tammy and Sean have put together. They've traveled to all seven continents. They're all very passionate travelers. Uh, they're also very knowledgeable. Uh, they're very dedicated. They're very professional. Uh, and they um, will always sell uh, you the cruise at the best price. Suppliers will never sell direct for less than uh, what you would get at Expedia Cruises uh, Thunder Bay. So, um, I wanted to kind of move forward and talk a little bit about Silver Sea Cruises. Uh, so let's begin with who is Silver Sea. Many of you may be familiar with the brand or not be familiar with the brand. Uh, Silver Sea is the world's largest luxury cruise line. But what really sets us apart from all other cruise lines is that we are the destination leader. Silver Sea sails to more destinations than any other cruise line. We sail to over 900 destinations around the world. In 2020, with the launch of two new ships, Silver Origin and Silver Moon, we were set to break 100, uh, rather 1,000 destinations globally, uh, but the uh, COVID setback, uh, um, you know, has, has forced everything into lockdown, but we currently sail, uh, we'll be sailing to over 900 destinations next year uh, with the hopes of expanding to over a thousand destinations in 2023. And this map gives you a really great um, idea of all the places that we travel to. So you see a little red and white dots. So the Silver Sea literally covers the globe. We don't just sail to the Caribbean and the Mediterranean and the Baltic and Alaska. We sail farther and deeper uh, into the destination than any other brand. You can see little dots up along the coast of Greenland, the Canadian high Arctic, Antarctica, um, all across the South Pacific, you know, all over Europe, all around Africa, um, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, the Russian Far East. We literally sail uh, to pretty much anywhere that touches water, uh, Silver Sea is able to access. And so uh, we are the destination leader and uh, we sail to the four corners of the globe. Silver Sea, as I mentioned, world's largest luxury brand. We currently have a fleet of nine ships. Uh, we will be adding our 10th ship later this year. That will be Silver Dawn. And then two new uh, Evolution class ships, which will be coming out in 2022 uh, and 2023. <clears throat> Silver Sea is able to sail to so many destinations because we offer two very distinct styles of cruising. So we offer classic or traditional. And so when you think of classic or traditional cruising, think of uh, destinations like the Mediterranean or the Baltic or the Caribbean or Alaska, uh, where you're visiting the great cities of the world, places like Sydney, Australia, Hong Kong, uh, Tokyo, Barcelona, Venice, <coughs> St. Petersburg. And then when you think of um, expedition cruising, think of the most far-flung destinations on the planet. 
areas that don't have ports, areas that don't have docking facilities, areas that don't have airports. Uh, and we sail to destinations like Antarctica, we sail to the Galapagos, we sail to the Canadian high Arctic, uh, where the ships are always at anchor. And uh, the way we are able to um, access um, the different destinations is via Zodiac. And so uh, here you just see some beautiful destinations, the Kimberley region in Australia, uh, the polar regions, um, and of course, even uh, very, very remote islands uh, north of Scotland and uh, the Outer Hebrides. Uh, here you've got a picture of Silver Explorer uh, in Antarctica. There's no docking facility because no docking facility is required. Um, passengers are able to land via Zodiac. So Zodiacs are very stable. Uh, very rugged craft, and uh, they uh, are able to maneuver up shallow waterways <coughs> and really make landings pretty much uh, anywhere. So here you can see a picture of Silver Sea Guest boarding a Zodiac uh, in one of the polar regions. Uh, here's a Zodiac sailing up to King George's Falls in the Kimberley region of Western Australia. And here is a picture of a Zodiac landing on a beach in <clears throat> in Indonesia. So, uh, you know, if it touches water, Silver Sea can 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 get there. Uh, and Zodiacs are also fantastic for viewing wildlife. So here in the Arctic regions, uh, one of our Zodiac pilots is just kind of following a polar bear and uh, allows our guests to get very, very up close view of the wildlife while safe, um, staying at a safe distance um, away. Silver Sea ships are small. Our largest ship carries just 600 guests. This is it. Uh, this is her. It is uh, the Silver Spirit, uh, carries 604. And uh, we believe small is beautiful. We like um, offering small format cruising because small ships are able to go where the big ships can't go. And so Silver Sea is able, again, to travel farther and deeper into the destinations around the world than any other cruise line. Uh, because small isn't just beautiful, um, small is also versatile. And so not very many cruise lines can claim to be able to do this. This is a picture of Silver Wind sailing. Uh, underneath Tower Bridge, right into the heart of London. So when Silver Sea says we go to London, we mean London. We don't mean Southampton with a two-hour transfer to London. We mean we sail right into the heart of the London. We're able to go right up the Thames uh, River. And for that reason, again, we can cover more destinations and go to more places in the world uh, than anyone else. And so Silver Sea's motto is, let us take you closer to the authentic beauty of the world. So in Shanghai, for example, we're able to sail right up the Yangtze River and dock at the Bund where, uh, you know, you can see the um, Shanghai Financial District, uh, the Padong District across the river uh, in St. Petersburg. We don't dock in the Marine Terminal, uh, you know, half an hour, 40 minutes outside of the city. We're able to dock right at the English Embankment, a stone's throw away from uh, the Hermitage, uh, the site of the um, uh, the October Revolution in 2017. And of course, in Bordeaux, in the Garonne River, we're able to sail right up the river and dock right in the heart of Bordeaux. So again, not many cruise lines can claim to this type of versatility. Uh, and of course, it is to the benefit of our guests that we're able to sail, uh, we're able to sail uh, right into the heart of the destination. Uh, Silver Sea is also now more all-inclusive than ever. We started as the world's first all-inclusive luxury cruise line back in 1994. Uh, and now we're more all-inclusive than ever because uh, we've also uh, included shore excursions on our classic product, on our traditional product, uh, where we, uh, before we used to have them as optional excursions that you could purchase if it was something that you wanted to do. But now we've included them. So starting in 2022, shore excursions will be included on all voyages as part of the price, actually starting in 2021, because we are returning to service in <clears throat> the month of June. Uh, we include, of course, uh, in our price, uh, very spacious suites uh, with verandas. Um, onboard gratuities are included. Wi-Fi is included for every guest. Butler service uh, for every guest in every suite category. Uh, wine and spirits are served throughout the ship, complimentary. Uh, we also stock your suite mini bar with your preferred beverages. You just let need to let your stateroom steward know. And we have um, open seating um, and specialty restaurants. On our expedition product, we of course travel with a highly qualified expedition team uh, that leads the way. It's a very, very informative type of school at sea. 
uh, where you learn all about the flora and the fauna and the amazing things um, in these very remote destinations. Uh, zodiac explorations are included, shore activities are included, uh, kayaking is included in the pricing, and everybody gets a complimentary expedition parka uh, and complimentary use of snorkeling gear. And uh, Silver Seas also um, uh, has a partnership with the Royal Geographical Society that I'll be uh, discussing um, in just a few minutes. Uh, but um, All-inclusive product, uh, and of course, the big news uh, recently was that Silver Sea will be returning to sailing uh, in June of 2021 after a 15-month absence. Uh, we will be returning to the Eastern Mediterranean in June of 2021 with our brand new ship. And the brand new ship that we launched, uh, we actually launched two during the pandemic. <clears throat> One classic ship, it was the um, Silver Moon. Uh, and so the Silver Moon will actually debut uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean uh, this coming June. She carries just 596 guests. So a very small, very intimate ship, but uh, has all of the amenities of a big ship, including eight different um, restaurants and dining venues to choose from. <coughs> we will be returning to service, of course, in the Eastern Mediterranean, so the Greek Isles, and the Holy Land, and there will be two 10-day uh, itineraries. The first one will be the Greek Isles itinerary, round trip Athens, and it will sail uh, to the very small island of Syros, uh, then onto Paros, Patmos Roads, uh, then a beautiful day at sea uh, before continuing on to Limassol and Cyprus, uh, and then turning around uh, with another day at sea, uh, docking in Heraklion, uh, Crete, <clears throat> and then on to Mykonos before ending the cruise in Athens. And then the second itinerary uh, will be the Holy Land itinerary, sailing from Athens, uh, visiting a number of Greek islands, islands including Cyprus or, and, and the country of Cyprus. And then, of course, uh, two days, two full days in Israel, uh, Ashdod for Jerusalem and Haifa to visit Nazareth and the Sea of Galilee. So these two 10-day itineraries are also designed to combine and so if you can't decide which of the two itineraries you're interested in, you can actually combine the two 10-day itineraries to create um, almost a three-week uh, experience in the Eastern Mediterranean. So just absolutely uh, beautiful itineraries, and we're very happy to be returning to service um, in, just, um, uh, in just two months' time. <clears throat> the other destination that Silver Sea will be opening up in the month of June is the Galapagos. And so Eastern Mediterranean and the Galapagos is where we are um, going to be uh, returning to service. The Galapagos, of course, uh, world famous. Uh, Darwin made these islands famous when he published The Origin of the Species. And of course, this is a very, very unique part of the world uh, where you find um, flora and fauna uh, found nowhere else in the world. Uh, we will be sailing in this destination with our brand new Silver Origin. So Silver Origin and Silver Moon are the two new ships that we're returning to service with. And these are the two ships that we launched during the pandemic. Silver Origin is really a super yacht. Uh, it's designed, it was designed in Holland uh, by a company that designs super yachts, the type that you would see in Monte Carlo and the um, or, um, you know, in Cannes, in the Port of Cannes during the film festival. Uh, she's quite a large uh, super yacht. She has 50 suites and carries just 100 guests. So she is our smallest ship. And um, this is how you embark a Silver Origin. So Silver Origin will never be at dock, uh, will always be um, at anchor in the Galapagos uh, with a um, beautiful um, uh, boarding area. So the Zodiacs come up, you disembark the Zodiac, onto the platform. And then the first thing you see as you enter in is this beautiful open area, which leads to reception. And you see these beautiful um, glass cases. And so, as I mentioned, uh, Silver Sea has a partnership with the Royal Geographical Society in London. Uh, Charles Darwin was a member of the Royal Geographical Society and uh, Silver Sea is as well. And so the Royal Geographical Society has put on loan a number of artifacts from their collection which will be displayed uh, in Silver Origins uh, glass casings uh, so that uh, the guides and uh, the, our passengers were able to look at some of these. Some of them include um, copies of, of Darwin's diaries, his letters, uh, and just a lot of um, interesting, uh, interesting samples from uh, the society's collection. Uh, the ship will also contain the world's, uh, rather the largest LED screen found on um, any ship in the region. Uh, this is it here. And so it's a touch screen and you're gonna be able to learn 
learn more about the Galapagos uh, in this area, which is known as Base Camp. Uh, the suites on Silver Origin, very spacious, uh, neutral colors, a lot of windows, um, you know, because we want you to be really immersed in the destination. So floor to ceiling windows throughout the ship, um, as well as in the suites. Uh, this is another picture of one of the uh, larger suites on board the ship. Uh, and then, of course, um, the Zodiac Explorations will be departing from Silver Origin several times a day. And our guests will have an opportunity to land on uh, a number of different islands to see the amazing birds, the amazing flora fauna. This is, of course, the frigate bird. Um, these are, of course, marine iguanas. And of course, um, the opportunity to snorkel with the sea lions and the local sea life, uh, see the giant tortoises after which the Galapagos takes their name. And of course, one of the most um, interesting things is the opportunity to snorkel with the only penguins found in the northern hemisphere. So imagine penguins around the equator, and this is the famous Galapagos penguin. So uh, these are um, our two destinations that we're going to be opening up to uh, this coming summer, uh, the Galapagos and the Eastern Mediterranean. More news coming from Silver Sea will be the launch of Silver Dawn. Now, Silver Dawn, we're very excited about. This ship will be launched this coming September. So September 2021, 20, we'll be launching yet another ship. She will be a sister ship to the Silver Moon, and Silver Dawn is currently Currently uh, being uh, completed in the yard at Ficantieri near Trieste in um, uh, in Europe, at the uh, in the Adriatic, and she'll be delivered in September of 2021. Um, Sean and Tammy will be hosting a group on board Silver Dawn when she uh, sails over to the Caribbean. So January 5th, 2023. Silver Dawn will be doing an amazing 11-day itinerary round trip Fort Lauderdale, calling on some of the smaller, really remote, out of the way, special islands in the Caribbean. So this is going to be a very, very special cruise. Uh, and so, of course, it begins in Fort Lauderdale. So you can all fly into Fort Lauderdale. I always recommend coming in a day early uh, to um, just enjoy the surroundings and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, get, get yourself uh, ready for your um, cruise adventure. Uh, then you'll be, you'll have a day at sea. Uh, the first port of call will be uh, the beautiful port of San Juan in Puerto Rico. And uh, you'll have a fabulous day there. Uh, then on to Gustavia in St. Bart's with its uh, very charming, uh, harbor. The thing I like about this itinerary are the small little islands that it visits, like here at St. Kitts, uh, kind of more of a desert landscape. Uh, then from St. Kitts, you move on to Dominica, more of a jungle landscape, very lush, very green, lots of beautiful waterfalls and jungles. Uh, then on to St. John's in Antigua. And then finally, the last port on this itinerary is Spanish Town uh, in the British Virgin Islands. And then, of course, another day at sea uh, before returning to Fort Lauderdale. So uh, this amazing itinerary, of course, all inclusive with a suite, uh, it will be sailing on board Silver Dawn. So I want to show you some images of this beautiful ship so you get an idea of the accommodations and, uh, you know, what you can expect. So this is the Dolce Vita Lounge. This is the main bar. It's located right off of the reception area on Silver Dawn. Um, it's a, a favorite place for people to get together before dinner. There's, of course, piano music, uh, great for conversation. Silver Sea um, is very, very spacious. Uh, so social distancing or physical distancing will not be a problem uh, on board the vessel. There's lots of room for everybody. Uh, one of my favorite uh, lounges, actually my favorite, absolute favorite on any Silver Sea ship is the, ex is the um, observation lounge. And this is always located um, all the way at the top of the ship on deck 11 of Silver Dawn, um, all the way forward. So you have an opportunity to see where the ship is sailing to. It's also got a nice little library. The other thing that I like about it is that the windows slant inward so that there's no glare uh, and ideal for photography and just seeing where the ship is um, sailing. It's, it's like being you know on the bridge um, of the vessel with the captain. It's just absolutely fantastic. Panorama Lounge. 
Uh, Panorama Lounge is located on deck nine all the way aft or at the back end of the ship. And this is where we have our evening entertainment. We've got a dance floor here. There's a small little band that plays. Uh, later on, there's a DJ for those that want to stay up late. Uh, but it's a great little spot um, to, to, to meet for drinks after dinner. Uh, and the nice thing about Panorama that I love is this outdoor area that's covered. And so when you're sailing through the Caribbean, this is just the perfect place to grab a drink and just relax and uh, watch the scenery go by. Um, on Silver Sea, this is the smallest uh, suite available, 386 square feet. Uh, this is the veranda suite. Uh, and this is what Silver Sea starts at. We start at 386 square feet and we go up from there. So there are no cabins on Silver Sea. There's no inside cabin. There's no outside cabin. There are no cabins. There are only suites on board and they're incredibly spacious. And so they come with, um, you know, full bath with full bath and shower, um, you know, marble, uh, floor to ceiling. Uh, you know, just beautifully appointed with um, all of the luxury amenities, including Bulgari, bath and beauty products, very uh, luxurious <clears throat> towels, um, bathrobes and slippers are included. And then from there, you know, the suites go up in size. So you get to medallion suite, silver suite, uh, owner suite, you know, royal suite. So these are the one and two bedroom suites on board the ship. Uh, but it all starts with uh, Vista and Veranda. Uh, which are uh, 386 square feet. The great thing about Silver Seas, every single guest on board the ship has access to butler service. So not just some of our guests get uh, butler service, Every single guest on board the ship has butler service. So they do things like serve canapes for you before dinner, champagne and caviar. Uh, they do any number of duties. Uh, another one that people love is having breakfast served on their private balcony or just maybe tea in the afternoon or coffee, or as I said, champagne and caviar. Um, it's all included. Uh, the other great thing about Silver Dawn, small ships, 596 guests only, but eight different restaurants to choose from. So these are absolutely spectacular. On Silver Sea, we really pride ourselves on our food. And food, it's not just about how it tastes, but also how it's presented. Because as the uh, Italians say, first you eat with your eyes um, before the food even touches your mouth. And so the food is always presented in a beautiful way. Uh, Silver Sea also offers a very a uh, wide range of fine wines that are included. So over 60 labels of wine uh, you can order off the menu at no charge. And so this is just one of the wonderful things about Silver Sea's all-inclusive program. Uh, let's start with the restaurant Atlanti. This is our steak and seafood restaurant. Uh, this restaurant is located on deck four and it is um, open seating. So um, you don't need to make a reservation. You show up whenever you want. You can show up with friends. There's always a table available uh, for you, uh, open seating, dining, and of course, lots of tables of two for people that just want to have some intimate time together and have an intimate dinner. La Dame is a smaller venue. Uh, uh, it has just 62 seats on board. Uh, Silver Dawn. Uh, so La Dame is classic French cuisine. So very, very decadent, very rich sauces, lots of butter, lots of heavy cream in the preparation. Uh, and of course, there is a... Um, a surcharge for La Dame of uh, $60, but that is because this is a nine course wine pairing with some very fine French wines. Uh, and so here's a picture of La Dame with the uh, beautiful windows. And uh, the striking thing about La Dame on board Silver Dawn will be the beautiful Lalique crystal panels uh, that decorate and adorn the restaurant. Kaiseki will be the Japanese uh, classic restaurant. So classic Japanese fare, not just sushi, and sashimi. Uh, reservations are required here because of the limited capacity of the restaurant. And then we move on to La Terrazza. La Terrazza is one of my favorite restaurants, and it's because the menu is so extensive. Uh, foods from all across Italy. Uh, but La Terrazza serves two purposes, at breakfast and lunch. Um, it is a buffet area. It is the place where you go if you want to grab something very, very quick. And so you can, you know, there's a lot of uh, foods that are pre-prepared that are ready to go. It's kind of like a grab and go area. But there's also some um, uh, stations like a waffle station. There's uh, there's an omelet station. At lunch, they have a pasta station where you can have the chef create your pasta or your uh, eggs 
uh, uh, and they're all made to order. Uh, and then, of course, La Terraza also has a beautiful outdoor area, which is why it's called La Terraza, the terrace. Uh, beautiful area on the aft end of the ship where you can just um, watch the, the beautiful scenery as you sail in and out of port. Uh, but the other amazing thing about La Terraza is that um, in the evenings, they lay down the white tablecloths and La Terraza turns into a classic Italian restaurant with foods from all across Italy, uh, all types of antipasti and, and appetizers. And, you know, it's just an amazing, amazing dining experience. Silver Note is another amazing uh, restaurant located on uh, deck seven of Silver uh, Dawn. And this is our tapas style uh, dining area. So lots of small plates, lots of share plates here. And the great thing about Silver Note, as the name implies, it is uh, where you can go to watch um, live jazz music. So there's typically a jazz trio with a singer and they perform on the stage uh, in front of the diners. And uh, it's an absolutely beautiful uh, dining experience, very, very unique. And so uh, that silver note. And then there are also two venues that are al fresco or um, offered outside. One is the grill. The grill at lunchtime is where you can grab a sandwich, a hamburger, kind of light uh, poolside fare. But in the evenings, the grill turns into a grill and you can get, um, you know, uh, lava stone heated to 400 degrees Celsius. You just select either uh, beef tenderloin or salmon or lamb chop or prawns, whatever you choose. Uh, and it's cooked right at your table and it's kept hot right at your table. So a wonderful experience. And then just upstairs from the grill is Spacanapoli, um, also outdoor. This is our outdoor wood-fired pizza. And you can um, select from any number on the menu or create the one yourself. But it's a nice opportunity if you don't want a formal dining experience to just um, have a nice leisurely outdoor al fresco dining experience. And then finally, the last is the one which is debuting on Silver Moon. This is SALT. SALT stands for Sea and Land Taste. So this is our um, culinary program on board Silver Moon and Silver Dawn. This will be extended to all of the new Muse class ships. And um, it, there are three components of SALT. So there's the SALT Kitchen, which is the actual restaurant where you'll have an opportunity to sample foods from the areas of the world where you are sailing. So if you're sailing throughout the Mediterranean, you start in the Greek Isles, they'll be offering a lot of different Greek style foods. And then as you hit Italy, Italian fare. As you get to France, French, French fare. And then around the Iberian Peninsula, more um, Spanish and Portuguese influenced foods. Uh, there's also the salt bar, which will offer drinks from the areas of the world where you're sailing. And there's the salt lab, which is the culinary kitchen or the test kitchen where you'll get a chance to learn about all of the different foods uh, from a particular part of the world that you're sailing to. So when you think of the fact that Silver Sea sails all over the world, the salt bar concept is really fantastic because uh, this is where you'll have an opportunity to sample a pisco sour as you sail down the coast of South America, or maybe a pastis when you're in the south of France, uh, or a nice uh, South African sherry uh, when you're in that part of the world. Then, of course, there's the salt lab. This is the cooking school or the, or the test kitchen where you'll learn all about the different vegetables and fruits that you may not see in your local supermarket that are unique to that area and are part of the local cuisine. And then, of course, there's the salt kitchen uh, where the chefs put it all together and uh, it's more of a culinary immersion. And it's our way of really giving our guests an opportunity to really get to know the destination, not just by visiting it, but through its food and through its culinary traditions and through uh, the drinks. And of course, our culinary team uh, creates its magic in the test kitchen. Uh, another area of the ship, which is incredibly popular, Arts Cafe. Arts Cafe is Silver Sea's version of Starbucks. And it's here where you can grab a coffee, you can grab a tea, but it also has a full service bar, a uh, glass of champagne, glass of rosé, glass of red or white wine. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite extensive. So um, lots of seating for everybody, little uh, bookshelves with very interesting books. Um, uh, you know, which kind of reflect the region of the world that you're sailing in and salt, uh, rather, um, 
The uh, Arts Cafe also has a beautiful outdoor area for anybody that wants to sit out of doors and just enjoy the fresh air. Uh, then, of course, there's the main uh, Venetian Lounge, which is our show lounge, which highlights all of our entertainment. The thing that I like about the Venetian Lounge are the love seats. And so couples can sit together, not in separate chairs, but uh, together in one love seat, which I really, really like. And of course, um, watch the, the, the local entertainment. And then, of course, um, the ship also has boutiques on board. Uh, and uh, we also have a casino, albeit very, very small. And then, of course, there's the Connoisseur Lounge, if you want a nice uh, glass of scotch or uh, cognac. And uh, there's, of course, the Sun Deck, which is going to be very popular on this cruise of the Caribbean that Tam, uh, Tammy and Sean will be hosting. Uh, beautiful pool area and uh, jacuzzi tubs, uh, very, very popular with our guests during sea days. There's also a very extensive fitness center on Silver Sea ships, so everything from free weights to... Um, you know, stationary bicycles to, you know, uh, treadmills to uh, ellipticals, um, a wide range of workout gear. And then, of course, um, there's the Zagara Spa for those that want to be pampered a little bit, all types of hot stone massages, Swedish massages, wide range um, offered on the menu. And then, of course, uh, different uh, hot pools, cold pools uh, to rejuvenate yourself. Uh, and so this is the uh, this is the spa area of um, Silver Dawn. So it's an absolutely beautiful ship, um, you know, only carries 596 guests. And so on our website, this cruise is advertised at 6390 Canadian. And that is with our pay in full 10% early booking bonus. Um, Expedia Cruises, Thunder Bay has got a better price than this. So uh, the price that um, Sean and Tammy are offering is uh, 5850. Um, so significant savings. But if you uh, book and pay in full uh, before the 26th of April, there is an additional $300 Canadian savings for per, per person. Uh, and that's available on all 2021, 2022 and 2023 and voyages, including uh, this one. Uh, and that would bring the price down to 5550. So a savings of $840 off of the price that you can see on the Silver Sea website. Silver Sea is a little bit at a higher price point than uh, most cruise lines, but you have to always remember that Silver Sea offers the finest at sea. Um, very large, spacious suites, uh, you know, the finest bath and beauty products, amazing dining, um, all inclusive. And we are an all inclusive luxury brand. All inclusive will always be more expensive than non all inclusive. And so, you know, when we advertise our price, uh, or when you see cruise lines advertising their pricing, you know, you can see that here in Europe, for example, you can do Europe for $720 Canadian per day, and that includes air. So Silver Sea includes everything already. So there are no hidden costs. Um, and so just um, an amazing way to, um, uh, to experience Europe on a luxury product. Silver Sea is the business class of cruising. So if you're wondering why is Silver Sea cost more than a premium brand, um, it's for the same reason that business class costs more than economy. People buy business class because they want more space, more comfort, better service. People upgrade to Silver Sea from a premium brand for the exact same reason. They want more space, more comfort, better service, better food, a better experience. And so there's a very, very big difference between Silver Sea and uh, most of the mainstream brands that sail um, around the world. When you look at you know, uh, a premium brand, when they advertise their low, low price, this is what they're advertising. They're advertising typically a cabin you know, that's about 150 square feet. Uh, this is what Silver Sea is advertising in its price. Uh, 386 square feet. And to give you a better perspective on the size of this suite, this is the view from the bed. Okay, this is the, the your living area with your big flat screen TV. And then just past that, uh, you have your veranda. So very, very big difference in the experience. Uh, and of course, floor to ceiling marble um, in the bathroom, walk in closet, but most importantly, there are no crowds. You know, uh, when you see pricing in Europe or, you know, cruises from $4.99, $5.99, this is what people are talking about. This is kind of the, un, you know, the unspoken 
condition of you know getting your cruise for $499, uh, you, you're on there with another 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people. Uh, Silver Sea carries, the, the, the most we carry is 600. Uh, so most of our ships are under 600. And so it's a completely different experience uh, than what you would find on um, some of the larger vessels um, in the industry. Silver Sea offers tremendous value. So um, our pricing includes, of course, one complimentary shore excursion in every port, um, you know, wines with dinner, uh, complimentary cocktails and beverages throughout the ship, uh, throughout the day, fully stocked minibar, all gratuities are included, Wi-Fi is included, butler services included. And of course, we all also include air in the pricing. And this is key. Um, air and transfers are included in the cost of every single Silver Sea cruise. So when you take a look at, you know, cruising to Asia, for example, Silver Sea really is affordable luxury. Two weeks on the Silver Moon from Hong Kong to Sing Singapore for $77.40, all in, including air. Take a look at this one here. Asia for $386 Canadian per day, including air round trip Singapore. Um, this one is Round Trip Singapore. It does Ho Chi Minh City. It does Da Nang, Chiang Mai, Hong Kong, uh, Halong Bay, Manila. Um, it's a 24-day itinerary. Uh, and the great thing about this itinerary is there's a lot of overnights. So it's not you're in one port for you know six or seven hours. You're overnighting. You're spending sometimes two, sometimes three days um, in a particular destination. And this is coming in at 9270 Canadian, including air, including air. Uh, to Singapore. I mean, this is an incredible value for a luxury, all-inclusive product. So really, you know, take a look at Silver Sea a little bit more closely. Um, you'll find that it's not as expensive as you may have previously thought. We also offer some amazing solo traveler rates with um, single supplement as low as 25%. So speak to your uh, travel consultant at Expedia Cruises uh, for more information. We also have a sail with us promo. So if any of you are past guests of Silver Sea and you want to refer any of your friends to sail on Silver Sea, you can get an additional $600 savings and the person you refer gets an additional $600 savings off their price. Um, inquire with your, with your um, local travel professional at Expedia Cruises. And of course, we also have our Cruise with Confidence program. And so uh, right now, uh, Greece is 100% set to go. Holy Land is 100% set to go. Uh, Galapagos are 100% set to go for 2021. Other destinations will depend on what opens, what remains closed. You know, there's, there's a whole issue of can we access the ports? Will those countries allow us to operate. So we do have a cruise with confidence program. So if you do want to take advantage of all of the great specials with Expedia Cruises, book now. We allow you to cancel up to 30 days prior, full 100% future cruise credit. Um, so no risk to you. Uh, no money is lost. We, we, uh, we've we uh, eliminated all of our cancellation penalties um, as part of this program. And so always don't forget about the amazing savings that we have with Expedia Cruises on until the 26th of April 2021. You can save up to 300 Canadian per person uh, or 600 Canadian uh, per suite. And so um, all of us now have been in lockdown for well over a year. And I think that, you know, we all realize that we've lost a year of our lives um, to travel. You know, there's been no traveling for a year. The borders have been closed. So really, many of us have started to think, you know, how many trips of a lifetime are there in a lifetime? And, you know, uh, the booking patterns at Silver Sea have been very, very strong. Uh, people want to travel. They want to go away somewhere and they are making the commitment and they're booking cruises into 2022, into 2023. Our 23 world cruise sold out in one day when it went on sale on the 17th of March. So, um, you know, when you're, when you think about it, uh, really, this is the time to be booking. This is the time to be having the conversation with your Expedia, uh, travel professional. Uh, and with that, I want to thank you for your kind attention. And just to let you know that if you do have any other questions about Silver Sea or about this phenomenal cruise on board Silver Dawn, uh, if you need pricing um, on any of the other categories, please contact um, Expedia Cruises, um, their phone number 1-888-814-5404. Uh, so that's 1-888-814-5404. Or you can email them at thunderbay at expediacruises.com. Uh, my name is Mark Zerowich. I'm the sales director for Silver Sea Cruises in Canada. And with that, I want to wish all of you bon voyage and um, thank you for your kind attention. Bye for now.